Hey guys, how's it going? LA here. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly uninstall bloatware in the Windows 10 store from Windows 10 Pro. So, if you have Windows 10, you'll know that it comes loaded with a bunch of bloatware here. You'll have the Microsoft Store as well as Weather, Map Apps, Solitaire, Xbox, and a bunch of stuff that you might not want or if you're deploying it in an enterprise environment. Uh, your company might not want. So if you want to get started with uh, removing all of this, what you'll want to do is you'll want to open up PowerShell. So we're going to go ahead and open up PowerShell here and we're going to open up a admin console of PowerShell. Uh, you can easily do this by right clicking on the start menu and choosing PowerShell admin. Now if you want to get a quick glimpse of the apps that uh, you'll want to uninstall you can type a command here that command is get app x package and we're going to do this for all users so that we can see what uh, is applied for all users as you go down this list you'll see that there's a bunch of apps loaded here uh, again we have the Microsoft solitary collections communications apps uh, the windows store and plenty of other apps here that uh, we might not want to have loaded on our system so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the get app x uh, package command as well as the remove app x package command to get rid of the bloatware so we'll start off by getting rid of the Microsoft Solitaire collection. What I'm going to do is double click on the link of Microsoft Solitaire collection, do a control C, and I'm going to type get app x package, followed by the package name. So I'm going to use control V to paste. And we're going to pipe that into a remove app x package. Now, if we hit enter, you'll see that that package has been removed. A quick banner popped across our page showing us the status. And if we go into our start menu, you'll see that the solitaire collections has been removed. You can also get rid of the packages by using asterisks or wow cards. And so I'm going to get rid of the 3D Builder package. Now in front of this package you'll traditionally have Microsoft dot Microsoft. But to make this quick, I'm going to use the wildcard command and we're going to hit enter and this will get rid of the applications for you as well and we'll try that for a couple other applications here so we're going to try that for the windows camera We're also going to try that for the uh, office package. And we're going to go down the list of a variety of different packages here that include bloatware, such as Bing Weather, Print 3D, and so on and so forth. Now you'll notice that you'll get an error message for some packages. Some packages can't be removed. There are certain Xbox packages that can't be removed, as well as Cortana. As well as the Edge application. However, we can get rid of the Microsoft Store by typing in store. 
and you'll see that the icon for the store has left. So we've removed quite a few applications so far. I want to go ahead and check and see what applications we have left. We still have the maps, photos, and paint 3D. To get a quick list of the applications that you have, you can go back to the Get App X package for all users and hit enter. All right, so after typing a variety of commands in here uh, to get rid of uh, some of the bloatware, uh, if we click on our start menu, we can see that uh, most of the programs are uh, no longer on the system. So we've gotten rid of all of the bloatware, we've gotten rid of the Microsoft Store, and we've gotten rid of some of the uh, bloatware that included communications packages and Microsoft Office. Now, if you're going to be doing this for multiple computers, it would be beneficial for you to come up with a script that will allow you to uh, do this in one or two keystrokes. Well, there you have it. So the Get App X package as well as the Remove App X package, along with the software name that you can find using the Get App X package, will allow you to remove uh, most of the uh, bloatware, including uh, the Microsoft Windows Store. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and thank you for watching my video.